Pac-12, Washington State gets it done, and you and I had questions about this. Washington State 31, Oregon State 24. We worried that the two massive wins for Oregon State might uh, might put a little complacency into that program. What's that complacency? I don't it's, want to use the word complacency, Gary. I just yeah. think at some point in time, teams that play above their head for a while, it's awesome. It's yeah. unbelievable. But they come back down to earth. It, it wouldn't surprise me for them to find a loss in the next game or two, no matter who they play. And I actually think those losses are good because then it kind of, all right, now we got to get back to the grind. What did we do to get where we were? And, and we reevaluate things, right? That's exactly what I said was going to happen. It absolutely happened. Jaden DeLora, yes. oh, boy, Rolo's got him a quarterback, baby. How, how in the world did Jared Garantano ever start for this team? Like, how did that ever make sense? Like, it, I, I, all the rest of these guys are young, and Rolo didn't know who he had, and so he just played the oldest, most experienced guy. Delora, thirty-two out of forty-six, three hundred ninety-nine yards, three touchdowns, one interception. He, he um, was he was a fraction of an inch away from from four yard, four hundred yards, yeah. three TDs. Man, he Rolo's got. If Rolo can get a quarterback, things get crazy up there. If you don't have a quarterback, they're pretty easy to beat up on. No, no, you you got that right. Chance Nolan, by the way, one of the most efficient passers in the country heading into the game. 11 out of 25, 158 yards, no touchdowns, two interceptions. Uh, B.J. Baylor still had a day. 18 carries, 145 yards. Uh, Deshaun Fenwick had 15 carries, 127 yards rushing. Both of those averaged over eight yards a carry, and had Deshaun had two touchdowns. So, I, you know, it, you still had a shot late in this game to come back and tie it. Fourth and ten, you know, it near the red zone or in the red zone. I don't even remember where it was. I, I had the game on for a split second. But going back and trying to watch a little bit of it this morning, like Washington State basically like, took over in the second half and just, yeah. Larry said Delara has been injured. He did pretty decent last year. He was injured for a little bit last year too. Yeah, I was about to say, he's he's kind of hasn't had a healthy season yet. Yeah. Yeah. Can he stay healthy the rest of this season? Because that's their, I think that's their only chance of being competitive in these Pac-12 games. Yeah, I I do wonder about that. He's he's six foot and one hundred ninety pounds. He's a sophomore from Honolulu, and I mean he just he just he's awesome. He's awesome when he's healthy for sure. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B Giannini at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.